and just look at this neighborhood. It is very, very, very nice. Here we are indeed at half price. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. What you find there? No idea. No Thank idea. You. Okay, so the turtles out back would be four hundred dollars. I believe this is Goble. Well, Noah and I are out shopping today. Um, you've already seen our yard sailing adventures of the morning. Now we are hitting an estate sale. And the reason I found out about this estate sale is because it is the same company that did the sale last week that I went to. So I know they do 50% off after noon on Saturday. And it is after noon on Saturday. So 50% off. Do you want do you want to be on the on the camera? <laughs> you crack me up, boy. You crack me up. Oh my goodness. So uh, Noah's got the GoPro to do a little Noah cam action. I don't know, catch me in uh, moments of vulnerability. Who knows what he's going to film. Uh, but we're going to get in here. It looks like a really nice neighborhood and a nice home. And the estate sale company last week said that this is a doozy that has taken them a couple weeks to prepare for. So I'm excited to get in there and uh, see what's left. Who knows? Maybe all the resellers got in here and took all the good stuff. You never know until you get in. But we're gonna go find out. Let's get shop done. Let's get shop done. We are here. And yeah, just look at this neighborhood. It is very, very, very nice. Here we go. All right, you can see it's a really, really just nice look house. At this neighborhood. Is very, very, very nice. And through the front gate. Oh, this is close. This is close. Look at him. He's awesome. He's beautiful. Oh, he's a Fayo Schwartz. A Fayo Schwartz. I like him. Let's find out if they're half price. Let's just make sure. Here we are indeed at half price. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. San Francisco Music Box Company. Oh, that is, it's still $50. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. It might be worth it. I might do a couple of little lookups, but here's the other thing that happens. Anything that doesn't sell here goes to an online auction format. And so now this kind of works as my preview. I've seen it in person and I, you know, because look at that one. Oh, those are, those are amazing. That one, so this one would be $60. So we are probably going to wait on those. Bunch of random clothing here. And a doll. Looks very vintage. Then over here we got some music boxes. Very expensive. It's playing without me. And over here we have another one. Very cool. What are you finding? These beautiful lamps. They have marble bases. Oh, look at these beautiful lamps. Cranberry with a kind of a thumbprint. These beautiful lamps. They got marble bases. It's 175, so it'd be a little under 100 bucks. It's gorgeous, though. A bunch of little ties. I could rock a tie. I could definitely rock a tie. You could rock a tie. I could rock a tie. You could rock a tie. 
Then over here we have a bunch of clothing. We always look through these for sunny, for gas money. <laughs> gas money. Good, good clothing here. I just don't know the clothing that well, and I am not in the mood to look everything up. Miss Libby. Hmm. Wow, this this closet could be like a bedroom. Ooh, looks like there might be some vintage clothing here. I'm gonna take a peek through. Look at this. It came from Bullock's. It was $114. I wonder if there's a date on it. Carol Little. Huh. It's actually kind of cute. It's kind of a style I would wear. Just saying. Bunch of purses. Clothing. Liz Claiborne. Just little Liz Claiborne purses. A lot of books. A lot of books. Books that I do not want. They look like cooking books, though. some boots, and a whole bunch of shoes. They're probably expensive. I have a set of fancy shoes though. My party shoes. Lots of activity going on in here. I'm gonna go to the kitchen, Noah. Gawa cup, special gift. Okay, I cannot open that with one hand. I'll have to come back to that. This looks like Fiesta, isn't it? It is Fiesta. It looks like newer Fiesta, though. It's a nice color. Let's go. This would be 42.50. That is, what are you? Hmm. It's kind of cool for eight bucks. I think, I think I'll put that in the cart. Come back over here. This little lusterware set would only be $12. Lusterware is kind of losing its desirability oh my gosh look at this entire set of i believe it's metlocks let me see let me see no it's franciscan i always get those two confused franciscan it's a whole franciscan set 475 so would be 235 for this entire set wow 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 look at those teapots those are cool Salt and peppers. They're not breaking it up individually. Not yet, anyway. It's a neat old piece. Got music on in the background that hopefully is not going to cause any trouble. Let's see, this looks Fitz and Floyd. Yep. Definitely Fitz and Floyd. This also looks like Fitz and Floyd. It is. It's older too. Actually, that's Franciscan. It's not that's employed, that's Franciscan. Really nice. I don't know if that's for the set or for, for both. That's Fitz employed. Oh, right time of year for that set. It's cute. Oh, he's cool too.
just kitcheny stuff. Wow, look at this humongous set of Franciscan. It's newer though. This is not the super old Desert Rose. I don't know all the people. Now here, I guess it's different. There's going to be some different age groups in here, but it would be $3.25 for the entire set. You know, I talk about this often, how much I love this pattern because it is what my very favorite aunt had when I would make my visits up to Carpinteria to spend the summers with her. We set the table. There we go. There's the older stuff. You can also Franciscan age by the little back stamps, but um, that's known as the TV logo. Uh, yeah, this really, really, really sparks emotion in me, but I just have no place to put it. We are in the garage of a bunch of Halloween. Wonder if there's anything good though. Some of these buckets, if they are vintage, can sell for a lot. Whisker or something, whatever you call it. I need one of those. Bunch of tools and things that I do not need. I do see some plates though. The plates are ten dollars each, but it should be fifty percent off. They don't look like anything very interesting to me though. There's wind blowing right on me from this. Oh, some beautiful transferware. It's Johnson Brothers. They did a lot of transferware. So that's not bad. $80 for that whole set. But you know me. I don't like to ship platters. Okay. Well, we're waiting to find somebody working here. Oh, I gotta find out. So these are Erte. Yes. WS George. Da, 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 da. Flapper with gray. Oh no, it's Mar Maro McDonald. It's not Erte. Boy, they have that same style. But they are plates. That, that's what's bad. These flames of love. Oh, these are, look, these are Erte. Hmm. Pretty, pretty. Much like metal and glass. Mm. I like this in particular. Just a very, very nice clock. Do these have any kind of tag on them? RWP. I don't know what that is. What's fine there? No idea. No idea. It's like a little, uh, so men would come home and empty their pockets of their change and whatever they collected in the day and they'd have these little trays on their little nightstand and boop, put all your stuff in it. <gasps> oh, look how gorgeous that is. Oh, they got some beautiful things here. Well, we knew they would. We knew they would. Got some ducks. These are gorgeous too. He'd be. 62.50. He is a Percy Kyle Jr. I'm actually going to look that up. So Percy Kyle Jr. is one of the good decoy makers. It's safe to say these will sell for $100 plus each. I just have to check condition and what's concerning me is this crack on the neck on this one. Um, this one looks okay, but this type of duck is not as desirable as the mallard but I'm wondering I'm wondering how bad that affects the value on this one because they are absolutely stunning they're very nicely done you know I don't think I can lose money I'm gonna pay 125 for the pair because they're half price and I think I'll be fine with that I am going outside. I'm leaving Danny behind for a minute. 
Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful pool. Looks like it just drops off. Oh, if only it were for sale. If only it were for sale. And he's got a friend back there. Oh no, I wish they were for sale. Those would be awesome. Other than some little deer out here, some Christmas deer. And uh, more Christmas. And we're going back inside. I'm showing her the statues over there by the oh. end of the tape. Oh! Oh, are they for sale? No. They're not for sale? I wish they were. Are we sure they're not for sale? They have tape on them. Do they say not for sale? Do they? I remember, I remember seeing them in the pictures. Oh, my phone is totally buzzing out in here. Oh. Are they, they've got to be for sale. Oh, wow, look at that infinity pool. Yeah, I saw. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, are these for sale? Come on. How are we going to get them back? I don't know. We would seriously have to rearrange the car. But I need to find out. We're off to find out. Let's see a pretty piece of glass. It would be 32.50. Oh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Nice stuff. I'm seeing a telescope. I like telescopes. Can you see anything in it? Or maybe you're supposed to look through a different part. It's cool though. It's probably very expensive. And we have a drone over here. It's missing any of the drone parts of the drone though. Uh oh. And then a bunch of electronics. And a bunch of electronic drones. Those are awesome. I like the boat. That'd be fun. Oh, there's two boats. There's another boat there. And a bunch of helicopters at the bottom. Yeah. And another one. Looks like it's either controlled by that joystick or this controller. And then a bunch of books. Look at that set of spoons. Those are cool. Got little figures on them. Still looking for somebody I can ask about those turtles. <gasps> oh, I like this curio. Maybe two hundred dollars. It's two hundred dollars. I have no way to get that home, but I love it. Oh, I bet Noah was in this room for a while. This looks like a Noah room. Oh, it's Mr. Wonderful. Let's see how wonderful he is. Oh, he's truly wonderful. He's, uh, he's not talking anymore. <laughs> oh, there's one of those acrylic blankets with the, um, with the sleeve and it's green. This feels like wool. Let's see. This will be 15. Trying to look for a brand name on it. Some are better than others. It doesn't have its original tag. It's probably definitely vintage, but I can't say it's a certain brand and it would be 15. Probably a good pickup, but I'm going to leave it this time. Look at this little guy. Who is this? got a certificate of authenticity. It's something collectible bear and company. And oh, it's Annette Funicello. It's a little Annette Funicello bear. Got a little nativity set. This would be 20 for the whole set. It's probably a really good price. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm going to think about that one. I think these are more of the Annette. No, these are Marie. Are these Marie Osmond? Yep, Marie oh, Osmond. Somebody was a doll collector. I was looking for you. You were looking for me. I'm right here. I was in the room just next to you. Oh. What are you finding? Yeah, little Marie Osmond dolls. These are kind of cute. These little small ones. Not so much the big ones, but these are they're kind of they're kind of intriguing. But I'm just not into the newer dolls. And we got a room full of these little miniature statue thingies. I haven't the slightest clue what any of these are. But they look expensive. And we got some like crystal lamps. And then more boxes. Oh, that is... Oh, it's the whole set. So there's this little low vanity with a mirror. I wasn't finding anything. And then there's one. like the little high boy dresser. I think that's what you call that, right? When it has like the stack, it's a high boy. And then it's the little twin. Oh, truly a gorgeous. Oh, it's got a footboard too. Down here. Oh, that is a gorgeous piece of furniture. Oh my gosh. So it'd be half price. It would be $7.50. For the uh -huh. set. Oh, interesting construction. It's not what I expected to see, but see, I really want to learn about furniture. So, you know, that's the key is you come in here and you look at how it's constructed to be able to kind of tell you some things about it. And I'm not, I'm not astute enough yet to know. Noah, can you pull on that other drawer so we're pulling this one, this one here? I'm trying to close this. Oh, so I can open this evenly. There we go. Oh, look how cute that is with the little spacers in there. Yeah, I just, see this one's all dovetailed. Okay, this one's all dovetailed. But the top is not dovetailed, which is interesting. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date this to 1930s, 1940s, I believe would be accurate and then a really pretty cedar chase is it a, it's not a lane it's a a ruse chest for a hundred bucks i bet that's a good price too but not something we need right now we got to keep life manageable because i'm going to be in the midst of opening a new business so it doesn't make any sense to buy stuff that um i've got really no way to handle it right now there's a little little cubby over here, and I see this strawberry piece. And you know how I love me, my little, I don't know what it is, little fake stuff, but looks like a little stem is missing there. So it'd be, it's made in Italy. It'd be 10 bucks for that. Mm. It's probably something I would want to keep for myself, and I'm going to resist because, as I just said, I gotta keep my life as simple as possible right now. Okay. I didn't even see this little shelf on my way in. Bunch of little cups. I think the metal on the bottom of cups like this helps them like stay warm. Whatever it does, it looks nice. And then just above it, a whole cabinet full of little mugs and goodies. Little soup mugs. hiding in the pantry. What does that say? Rose Dawn Johnson Brothers. What's this? Uh, looks like some kind of a thermometer. Some vintage, some vintage things in here, but you know, just nothing like mind-blowing. This looks like Hall. None of it's marked. This is probably marked. But it's not, again, it's not exciting enough for me to look any further. Some nice... 
it's not glass. It's it's acrylic. <laughs> it still almost gave me a heart attack. The Pyrex custard cups in the original. I like looking for the original boxes. Sometimes the boxes can be worth more than the thing. Here they are. Oh look, it still has the little Pyrex sticker on it. Anything like that can give it more value than something that doesn't have. Oh, this is valuable to you, Noah, huh? This is your favorite. I prefer homemade. Tim Horton. I'm leaving the basket here. Coffee. We're going to leave our basket sitting there. So far we've got two ducks, a dog, and one other little thing. That's okay. It's okay. All right, we're out in the garage. Cast iron stove. It's a little warm out here. Janine, Manetto. Oh, it's actually, it's actually movie reels. Huh. Good. It's not marked with what's actually on the movie reels, though. Hmm. Hmm. Always got to look inside stuff. Oh, look. Chess table with checkers. Brand spanking new. It's never been put together. Wow. That's, that's kind of a cool, kind of a cool thing. We completely skipped by this. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, it looks like not so great for resale stuff. You see a keyboard, which is interesting. A little Bluetooth keyboard. There's a bunch of stuff on this table. I love this little piece. That's really, really well done. It's got a little like bubble coral bubbly coral thing surrounded by a whole bunch of little fish. That is gorgeous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How much is it? It doesn't have a price. We might be getting this for Rachel. I love the little cubes with stuff inside. It's got a little house inside. Okay, so the turtles out back would be $400. The problem is they're super heavy and I would have no way to deal with them. Look at this little hat. That is really adorable. I like, I like the hat. What is this one? Josephi? How much are the little hats? This cashmere one is thirty dollars, and this one I can do maybe twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. And then is it half off of that, or is no, that that's, that's that's the price? That's the price. Thirty and twenty-five. Right, right. Yeah, they are real deal. You know, real uh, uh, vintage pieces. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's Cinderella's shoe in there. Oh my gosh, how sweet is that? Oh, and it's a music box, too. That's very sweet. That's a Dooney. Hmm. Prices, prices. Where's the prices? Oh, that one's 60. Okay, maybe it's inside. Oh, yep, yeah, 65. I'm just, I'm just a frugal, frugal shopper. I'm sure this stuff is worth, I'm sure it's worth it. I just, I know what I can deal with right now too. And that's a really sweet little purse. Okay. 
Montel Montiel Paris. Montiel Paris. Another little little vintage, but I don't like that they're not like priced. I want another price. I'm like I keep asking prices and then I sound so cheap because I'm I'm not I'm not going for it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not the uh, end collector. I am the reseller. Smart styled Fifth Avenue. Okay. Uh-oh, what's Noah finding over there? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got Dynasty Gallery. Dynasty Gallery is not a super high-end uh, name in paperweights. But it looks really good. It, it, yeah, it, they're cool. They're cool. Now this one, on the other hand, looks much better to me. I'm not seeing a name on there anywhere, but look at the quality. Look how that's made, and look at the just the workmanship in there. So that one, I think I am going to swing for at uh, twenty-two fifty because it's half price. Ooh, let's hold it up to the light. <laughs> I'm trying to get the light shining through it. There we go. There we go. You can see it a little better. Look at this really pretty little set. Hmm. Be 70. One, two, three. Four. There's five pieces. Probably not bad, but again, I'm just I'm I'm in super frugal mode. Super frugal mode. I do like the glass. I like the glass doorknobs. Oh, I like that mirror. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. <laughs> I like too many things. There's a mix of some old and there's a mix of like newer things. Like that says Wolf Witham Parker, something Parker British made. Now that would only be $4. And it's something that's really easy for me to sell like in my live sales and I can deal with right now. So I am gonna get that little trinket box. I believe this is Goble. It is. He does not have a price. So we're going to ask on that one as well. And I see another another of these trinket box. It's Bone China England. You know what? We're going to get that one too. Really, really pretty. It's caught my eye. It's a Turkish scene with the horses. I'm not exactly sure what sport they are partaking in. Hmm, that would be $17 for that and I feel like that would be a good purchase. It's small, easy to deal with. I'm gonna grab that as well. I'm gonna get this too, Noah. Of course I'm gonna get this too with the... I'm trying to figure... Okay, they go that way. The little fancy goldfish lacquer box made in Vietnam for four dollars. I will take that too. Which is my favorite kind of table where the cool stuff is just it's like picking which cool stuff I'm gonna end up with. That's okay that's not part of that. This is cloisonne. Does this go with something else? This is really or this might be champlevé. I forget how you tell exactly the difference. I'm, I have a feeling this is Champlevé, which, because you can feel the texture, and I think, I, I could be wrong, but I think with Cloisonne, it's all very um, smooth. Like this is Cloisonne. See that you can't feel the texture on this. That one would be $12. It's nice. And then I think this is Champlevé. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it works. He would be 24. Eight dollars for the little bird. He's eight. Okay, we'll get the little gobble bird. Happy anniversary. It's a really, really pretty box. Look at that. Is it an inkwell or is it a... Hmm, I'm not sure what kind of box that is for. I don't know. $21. You know what? I'm pretty sure I can at least double my money on that. It's brass. It's old. It's beautiful. I'm going to grab that too. They got bats on TV.
I don't know that I can show very much of that. My little Ozzy looks like a fruit bat. That's what we always call him, little fruit bat. You completely skipped over the little space shuttle. I don't know, how did you skip over the space shuttle? No, you skipped over the space shuttle. Oh, I skipped over you the space shuttle. You skipped over the space shuttle, I noticed it. I don't know what kind of creature that is. I think it's fox. I do believe that's fox. I was admiring this lamp. It's a floor lamp. Absolutely gorgeous. I like the painting. And then I saw this painting. Now, it's got like something it's has a little Kunasek and it's well something has dripped down on it, which they can clean these. They can do it. It looks like a 70s frame to me. That's what it looks like. It's a nice size. I like this size. It's I don't quite know the site just looking at it, but it's a small, like, easily accent kind of a piece. But that lamp, oof, oof, love it. I, I see a little Swarovski birdie. I'm going to have to ask how much he is. And that's a mink teddy bear. Oh, and there's a trinket over the box. space shuttle. I don't know. How did you skip over the space shuttle? You just skipped over the space shuttle. That's another. Can you? There we go. Oh, it's a clock. They put a whole clock in there. It's an Elgin. That's a nice little clock made in Germany. That is really sweet. That one. Get it? No, that one's not priced either. Oh, look at all the little trinket boxes. You know, I like more of the figural ones. These are more like little compacts. That one's kind of cool though. Hmm. Oh, the little carriage back here. This one would probably be like 15. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We have this little jeweled clock collection. Mm. All right, he's mine. <laughs> all right, we're bringing it all out and back to the car. Yeah, what did we pick and, up? And he said there's another sale next week. He says that's like even better, bigger, better, beautiful, amazing. Ah! <laughs> I know we're Now you just gotta hope week. Rachel doesn't steal the dog from you. <laughs> she might. She might. All right, it's all going to the car. That's a wrap. We're hungry. We're very hungry. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, we're hungry. It's been a long day. It's been a great day. It's been a fun day. It's been Every, very fun. Any day I spend with you is a great day. 
and if you keep on watching, you'll see a little sneak peek of the new building. Yeah. A little yeah. tour. A little more than I showed before. I did show a little, a little sneak peek, but I'll a little bit. I'll do a full tour, and we'll talk about what's going to happen there, and uh, we're going to do some stuff tomorrow. We're, we're going to get gonna, shop done. We're going to get rock and roll on this thing. We're going to get building done. Yes. Oh, just want to say that this estate sale company is Sterling Estate Sales. Um, if anybody's interested, they have an email list where they send out pictures of the upcoming sales. They do online auctions, but after the fact. So uh, obviously it's always better to get to their sales if you can. I mean, it is the last hour of their two-day sale and you can see all of the amazing things they still have left. So what he said is they have like at the end, they have already contracted out people who just come and like buy everything sometimes or buy the room or I wasn't completely understanding how that worked, but I'm like, oh, oh, I'd like to get in on that. That would be. But they're awesome. They encourage be filming. Fun. But yeah, yeah, he was, he was very, very uh, happy to have us filming there. And so I want to give him a great plug, a Sterling Estate Sales. You can see amazing stuff. And I, every time I go to one of their sales, it's amazing stuff. And their prices are great. Um, I, you know, you got to remember, an estate sale company's duty is to make as most, make, make the most money as possible for their client. It is not to take care of us who want to make money off the stuff. That is not the purpose of an estate sale company. So, um, their prices are good. I found great stuff. I'm still going to make money, especially on 50% off day. So there you go. Sadly, we didn't get the tortoises though. We didn't. I just got no way to get those home. They are heavy. They are heavy and they can't hundreds help Hundreds of pounds. Yeah. I will get my tortoises one day. One day. One day. One day. Hmm. All right. With that, we're going to go grab a bite to eat. You. Go, go be, be profitable. profitable. And. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.